I hate going through these, but we have to address this issue because there's a scary amount of people who believe these myths, and they come to the comments very often. Here are our top 5 conspiracies debunked. Number 5. Saturn's Hexagon is Alien Technology Saturn's North Pole is stamped with a vast hexagon which was discovered by NASA's Voyager spacecraft in 1981 and later revisited by Cassini Huygens in 2006. And whenever something relatively weird occurs in space, conspiracy follows. Did aliens create that? Is that a highly advanced structure? Of course not. It's rather an atmospheric phenomenon. It's a gigantic storm about 20,000 miles kilometers in diameter, surrounded by winds blowing up to 300 miles per hour. While Earth's hurricanes usually last for about a week, Saturn's turbulent hexagon-shaped storm has been raging for decades. Atmospheric models suggest that this storm goes very deep, maybe thousands of kilometers. Researchers believe that these vortices are a result of atmospheric flows deep within Saturn and that they pinch an intense horizontal jet near the equator, which is what warps the storm into a hexagon. Number 4. There is a face on Mars In 1976, NASA's Viking 1 spacecraft was orbiting Mars and taking pictures of possible landing sites for its sister ship, Viking 2. Suddenly, it caught this image, which made Earthlings lose their minds and start conspiring about aliens and the paranormal. Again, there's nothing dramatic about this. It's just a huge rock formation that kinda looks like a face under the right conditions. But some people still think this is genuine evidence of life on Mars, something that NASA would rather hide. And this brings us to number 3. NASA is a lie. People who wear tinfoil hats believe that NASA's main goal is to spread space-related hoaxes like the Apollo moon landings. Such people don't even believe in the amazing pictures of Mars, Jupiter, or Saturn. Some even go so far as they conclude space is fake and Earth is flat. No, NASA is not a lie. The US Space Agency has done a lot for the world, bringing us inventions that are employed daily to save lives improve environmental conditions, keep humans healthy, and much more. The National Aeronautics and Space Act was signed into law on July 29, 1958, and was intended to provide research into problems of flight within and outside the Earth's atmosphere. Number 2. There's a killer planet known as Nibiru Conspiracy theorists seem to love drama. Nibiru is a hypothetical world, about five times the size of Earth, that supposedly lies somewhere at the edge of the solar system, way past Neptune, and was prophesized to collide with Earth and destroy us all. But its existence is pure pseudoscience. The idea came to life in 1995 thanks to Nancy Leder, founder of the website ZetaTalk. She went so far as to claim that she has the ability to receive messages from extraterrestrials from the Zeta Reticuli star system through an implant in her brain. Well, you be the judge. There is absolutely no scientific evidence about this hypothesized world, and the idea was continuously rejected by astronomers as an internet hoax. There's nothing larger than a couple of hundred meters across out there, and if an object like Nibiru actually existed, it would have wreaked havoc in the orbits of the solar system planets, and such a disruption would be easily observable today. Number 1. Area 51 is a secret base filled with aliens UFO hunters are obsessed with Area 51, a highly classified United States Air Force USAF facility which has a long history of reported UFO sightings. The area lies at Groom Lake in the middle of the barren desert of southern Nevada and is inaccessible to the general public. This area is an open training range. It's a place where the US military tests and experiments with different aircraft and weapons systems that have never been seen before. And that's what drove people crazy about it and made them think they were seeing alien technology. These five conspiracy theory picks are just a drop in the ocean compared to the madness that's going on on the internet. So please, be careful. Don't believe just because you want to believe. If you're curious enough about something, take some time, do some research, and try to stick to reliable sources. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell so you do not miss any upcoming videos.